Hey everybody, thanks for joining. My name is Eva. If you're new here, I do videos mainly about bag related content, sometimes unboxing, sometimes reveals, sometimes bag comparisons, and sometimes I vlog about my thrifting. Well, today I have a thrifting find and honestly, it happened so fast. I didn't even have a frame of mind to like take out my phone and <laughs> document this because I walked into my store. I saw this displayed on the mannequin. I was like, what's that? Check it out got it and I was gone. And I had to say, for those of you that like thrifting, this was a pretty good find. So stay tuned and I'll show you the bag. So the bag I found is from this brand, Mansour Gabriel. It is this very, very bold, summery, yellow, sunshine color. And as you can see here, it is a small bag, but actually it's quite wide, so it could hold a lot. The branding is very, very minimal. Like maybe you can see that it's stamped here um, at the bottom of the bag. And this is the mini Tulipino bag. It was displayed so cute on a mannequin wearing a denim dress. And I was like, that is adorable. It just really popped off that denim. And it was displayed, you know, wearing this crossbody strap. So you could wear a crossbody or top handle here. It has a linen lining. It reminds me of the lining inside the uh, Tory Burch bags. And it has a leather trimmed like card slot pocket on the back. And there is a branding patch here on that pocket. Here's a little more detail of the strap. It has this kind of closure and it has this kind of post adjustment. And here at each end of the zipper are the D-rings for the strap if you wanted to attach it. As I mentioned, this bag is really quite wide at the bottom. And here's what the bottom looks like. So you can see it's a folded leather and it comes together here at a point. When we look at the bottom of the bag, this is where the name Tulipino comes from. And let me read to you from the website how it got its name. We've reimagined the iconic shape of a tulip with our beautifully crafted Tulipino bag. The form of the tulip petal is seen through the unique folds of the origami-like bottom, overlapping delicately with intention. I can put my fingers here in the folds of the leather. When I first saw this bag, I thought it reminded me quite a bit of the Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size. This bag is a little bit bigger, it has more capacity. It's going to have more capacity when it's filled. But in general, they're quite similar. The main difference is the shape. This um, Tulipino bag has a much wider base and it tapers more significantly as it goes up towards the top, up towards the handles. Now let's talk about my thrifting experience. So when I went in, I saw the bag on a mannequin. I was like, oh, that's super cute. Let me look a little bit more. I saw the brand. I was like, oh, I took it off the mannequin and I sat it down and did a Google image search of this bag and saw that it was currently for sale on the sex site for $495. And I was like, hmm, what about that? And then I looked inside at the tag. When I saw these numbers, I thought it was 399. But then I looked again and I realized, no, that's 39.99. <laughs> And this, this bag is in, like, is in new condition. You know, it's new. There are no marks on it whatsoever. It, it looks like it has not been worn. So it was like, that can't be right. And I just kept looking at these numbers, you know? So, and it was $39.99. That's not just a pretty good deal. That's an amazing deal for this bag that's currently sold for 500. So I thought I would do a video about this in case anyone who is shopping for this bag would like to see, you know, the size, the proportion. This is the mini size. I'll try it on for you so you can see my shot. And for those of you that are thrifters, you get excited about finding a good deal. I thought you might like to know the price that I found this. In addition, I got an extra 10% off because I have a loyalty card at this particular shop. So there's that too. And by the way, in case you're interested, this bag also comes in other colors, as you can see, caramel brown and black. The first time I tried this bag on, I was a little bit bothered with these uh, top handles just kind of flopping to the front. So when I tried it on this direction, I felt like it worked a lot better in terms of the look. See, then they just kind of stand up against your body. And I was worried a little bit with the base being so wide, like 
how that would rest against my body, but it doesn't seem to be a problem at all. It seems to be quite comfortable. And also I feel like this bag is quite lightweight. Even with that, you know, excess leather coming in folding at the bottom, it seems to be a very lightweight bag. If you wanted to wear the bag handheld, then this is what it would look like. And even though these uh, top handles are quite small, there is enough room to put it here over your wrist and it would look like this. And I think this is also pretty cute. And in case you're curious, this was my bag of the day. I wore this out shopping today. This is my denim longchamp brioche bag. And I did an unboxing video about this and I'll link it below if you'd like to learn more about this bag. So thanks for joining me as I shared with you my thrifting deal here. I got a kick out of it. I hope you did too. So you take care and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye. Okay.